Hello, I'm in zone 5 of my property. This is an area of my land that I hardly ever walk in. It's just kind of all wild brush, cactus, mesquite. Just kind of an area where nothing's really going on. It's all just growing wild. So when we got all that rain last week, I saw the slope of my land and I saw water running along the surface uh, downhill. Downhill is that direction. Uphill is this direction. Very slight slope. So what I want to do here is put in a swale to try to capture some of that runoff. So yesterday morning I came in here and I started to dig this ditch here. I found the contour lines and then I just started digging a little trench. And I got about that far into it and then I hurt my back digging. So this will have to uh, pick up another time. What I'd like to do is take this swell and run it all the way that way until it hits the uh, front road where I had all that water running um, past my property. Uh, that will bring the water all throughout my property in a trench and it'll let a lot of that water sink into my land versus just uh, selling on down the road there. Really what I wanted to show you this morning was how I mapped out these contour lines. Traditionally people use an A-frame, just something you put together with a couple of boards um, and a string with a weight hanging from the string and it relies on you to uh, calibrate the tool and find this center point uh, where it would mark it as level and as you move the a-frame along the uh, contour and find the level point that string is supposed to stop on a center line and that's where you know when it's level well what i found with that and it could just be me whenever i want to mark the contour lines of the swell it's always windy and it's a pain to get that string to line up with that line on the uh, a-frame so I came up with a little invention yesterday. This is just a 44 inch piece of board here. It's straight. I added a couple of threaded bolts. These are just things that I had on hand through here. Added that to each end and also added a little level that I had here. And this level, it's got um, it's got some holes on there and I just uh, attached that with a screw there and a couple of nails down here to pop that in place just so that I could use that whenever I need to for other things. So what I did was set this down where I wanted to start my swell and then I moved it around. I would just watch this bubble here and I would try to adjust this to where the bubble lined up right in the middle and then that's where I would mark my flag on the end of this tool so you just keep keep adjusting it till you find the sweet spot right there is where I would mark it uh, just put a flag right there at the end and you know it's a one-person job I don't have to mess with a string uh, it's pretty simple um, to calibrate this tool, all I did was, since this is threaded, all I did was find a, a flat surface. It was real simple to adjust those bolts since they were threaded to make this level. So every now and then I may have to recalibrate this, but uh, right now it's good to go. And, you know, I don't know how perfect this really has to be because there's little variations in the land, you know, like... There's a little tuft of dirt right there. I know that that's not really uphill. It's just kind of a high point on the dirt right there. So you just gotta kind of work around that kind of stuff until you find a more um, flat surface that don't have stuff all over it. Yesterday when I made this, I actually had little short lag bolts on here and it only set two or three inches above the ground. And what I found was uh, whenever I would need to um, find the contour line over like a tuft of grass like this 
that grass was causing uh, the wood to kind of stick up a little bit in the middle so I couldn't quite get it flat on the ground on both sides so I had to raise this up and I happen to have these bolts here so you know this could be improved I just used what I had on hand here this is not perfect but I actually find it a lot easier to use in that A-frame I've seen a bunyip water level and those are pretty cool but those require two people from what I've seen this is really simple just for me I don't have to do anything fancy here plus with an a-frame it's hard to get underneath low branches and things like that so I think this will be fine anyway that's what I just wanted to show you um, once my back is feeling a little better I'll uh, continue to dig along this well um, this particular section here it really only took me about maybe 10 minutes to dig that up so I was really disappointed yesterday when I hurt my back because I was wanting to make a lot of progress on this I probably could have got pretty far back that way but anyway I'll keep you posted on this thanks for watching